Question number 10, Stuart Nash. Thank you. To the Minister of Police, does she believe the police have sufficient funding to meet the expectations of the public? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, yes. <laughs> Supplementary question. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Does she think that the closing of the Papatoetoe Police Station in order to, quote, reduce property costs, unquote, has contributed to the solving of only 70 of the 1,020 burglaries in Papatoetoe in 2015? The Honourable Judith Collins. No. Uh, supplementary? Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Does she think that solving just 53 of the 1,013 burglaries in Glen Innes last year is meeting the expectations of the Glen, uh, Glen Innes residents? The Honourable Judith Collins. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> Does she think order, that solving... Order. Supplementary, supplementary question, question, Stuart Nash. Does she think that solving none of the nearly 100 burglaries in tourist spots of Russell, National Park, Arthur's Pass, Lake Tekapo and Te Aonau in 2015 is a result of underfunding of the police in these areas? The Honourable Judith Collins. Uh, Mr Speaker, definitely not. In fact, I'd suggest to that member that if he considers that burglaries in those particular spots often occur in homes that are vacant, in other words, their holiday homes, that it's very difficult to get burglars when it's announced to the police and reported six weeks after an event. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Is the lack of funding the reason that, according to the police's own annual report, quote, the police employee to population ratio in New Zealand is low in comparison to most similar overseas jurisdictions, end quote. The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, not at all, Mr Speaker. In fact, I'd suggest that that member remember that uh, this government put 600 extra police on the beat, uh, 600 more than his government ever did. Order. 